Hi everyone, Rhonda here, and I wanted to do a quick video to show you my latest cake. This is absolutely one of the favorites that I've ever done. I had fun doing this cake. Um, this is for a gentleman who's a DJ and an avid Steelers fan. By the way, they are going to the Super Bowl this year. So, um, and he didn't just jump on the bandwagon. He loves the Steelers and he's turning 40 and his birthday party is tonight. His wife asked me to do a Steelers jersey cake for him and this is what I came up with. I just wanna take you on a tour of the cake and then I wanna give you some tips. So let's just take a look at the cake. Steelers white jersey. Um, their colors are black and gold. So as you can see for the arm, we have a Reebok symbol. Anyone with an authentic jersey knows that that Reebok symbol is there. We added ribbon to say happy birthday. See if we can zoom in. Uh, let's try to zoom in on that. Okay, so we have happy birthday there, black fondant and white fondant brushed in luster dust. We have his last name, which is Heinz, and the number 40. And that 40 is brushed in a confectionery glaze just to give it a little shine and the black by the time I finished with it was kind of dull. We have um, our Steelers logo there and we also have our NFL logo. Let me zoom in. Wait, I keep pressing the bone button guys, sorry. And then we have our Steelers logo there. I'm sorry, our NFL logo here. I use the frosting sheet and edible inks to create that NFL logo on the collar there. And then we have our signature Steelers gold stripes with black border. And then again, we have our Reebok symbol that I used, again, a frosting sheet to create. So I'm actually going to sit this camera down. Let's take a look at it again. I'm so happy with this. Oh, and as you can see, I outlined the jersey in black fondant that I just kind of rolled out by hand and I tried to create like a long piece just by rolling it in my hands. And then I just went around the cake. So let's go around it one more time. What I would like to do is actually wrote down things I want to share with you guys. I'm just showing you the other view of this cake from the back side. Sorry, I'm walking around with a tripod in my hands. But here's the cake. And I actually took some notes, some things I wanted to share that I found helpful. And as you venture into cake decorating, I hope you find helpful as well. And as well. So, sorry, you're going to get some movement and shaking and weirdness right now. Sorry about that. All right, let's put down the tripod and then I'm going to sit down and just give you a couple of pointers. Okay, there we go. Well, you can still see the cake. I'm sorry. You know, I'm no editor. I'm just someone who loves to decorate and knows that these videos are so helpful and I just want to help others the way I've been helped. Okay. So hi all, it's Rhonda. Oh my God, you can't even see, see me, sorry. So let's just lift this up a little bit. Just want to give you guys a good video. My apologies. Okay, let's back this up so you can still see the cake. Amateur video specialist, amateur cake decorator. That would be me. Okay. We'll make this quick. I don't want to take too much of your time. If you're like me, you have hundreds of other cake decorating videos to get to. So, I just wrote down a couple things, a couple of tips I thought would help you. So in terms of this cake, I just wanted to show you what I used when I made the cake. So for the body of the cake, I just used this size pan. It's a Wilton pan. It's 15 by 11. It's a big pan. So this is what I use to bake the body of the cake. I don't worry when all my cakes bubble up. I actually used four boxes of cake. And yes, for this project, I used cake mix, Betty Crocker, Duncan Hines, whatever. And it took four boxes of cake mix to fill this up. And yes, I had some bubble over, which I just leveled down 
um, by hand. For the arms, I actually had cake left over from my son's birthday cake that I made that I don't have a video for, but I'll post pictures to like a slideshow. And what I did there was I just, you know, carved out the leftover cake and they were actually rectangular and then I just carved them into nice shoulder sleeve type of shapes. Okay, so now notice the cake board. Okay, I used standard cake boards, you know, the flimsy kind. But for something like this, you definitely need something to support the cake while it's moving around, it's being transported from one place to the other. You never know where it's going to end up at the party. And I didn't want to have any accidents. I didn't want my clients to have a bad accident with the cake. So, went to a hardware store and purchased a 2x2 two two piece of wood, 3 8 inch thick. And I covered it with the flimsy boards. And I used a non-toxic glue to glue them down to the wood. And then on the bottom of the cake board, I just used those little round, or you can do the square, like um, little tabs that are like felt that people use on their hardwood floors. I have them on my chairs. Well, they work good on the bottoms of homemade cake boards. And what that does is allow you to move the cake around without messing up the beautiful finish on your beautiful cherry wood dining room table or anywhere else the cake may end up. Okay, so I definitely want to tell you about that. A couple other points, um, the frosting sheets, which I failed to bring with me downstairs, sorry, but basically what I do is I go online and I find the symbols that I want. And in this case, um, this isn't black and white because I printed this on my laser printer, but I just get the images, they were all, they were all color, and then I hook up my edible inkjet, install a frosting sheet, and I print directly onto there. And then I um, use a technique where I soft, soften the frosting sheet, and then I cut out the image, and I apply it to the cake, as you can see, with the Steelers logo, the NFL logo, and the Reebok logo. So that's how I got those logos on the cake. In terms of numbers and letters, okay, if you're like me, okay, maybe you have a budget for what you like to spend when you're decorating. I don't always have a budget, but I try to be sensible at the same time. So what do you do when you want to use a different font or a different style? You can't go out and buy the stencils. You just spend hundreds of dollars doing that. So what I've done is I go out to and word processing applications such as Microsoft Word. I get a big font, like 500. I get 500 font size. And I pick a bold font style, and then this is what I get, okay? Then I take wax paper, and I put it over top. This is a big piece of wax paper. And I trace the letter the character, the symbol, or the number. And then I cut it out. Now I have a pattern. And then I roll out my fondant, put my pattern on top, use my X-Acto knife or my pizza cutter, and I cut out my image. And voila, for almost pennies, I have a perfect number, a perfect, perfect letter on my cake. Okay, so that's a big thing for me um, doing this. I've done this with so many different projects and works wonders. Okay, and again, this is my zero. And I'm not an advocate or a saleswoman for any brand. I just use whatever Michaels has because I can get that coupon 40 or 50% off. That's what's most important to me. But, I am using Duff brand buttercream fondant in black. I was trying to roll the fondant myself. My hands were getting messy. It was just a, a nightmare. Seriously, why go through all that when you can get this for 20 bucks, use your 50% off coupon, and only pay 10. So, 
for people who may be wondering how the black gets so black, it's of no effort of my own other than going to the store, getting my Duff brand. If they had wanted the black jersey where the entire cake needed to be black, I would have just whipped out that airbrush machine and I would have went to work, baby. So, here you have it. I hope those tips are helpful. I'm sorry my videos are long and, and the editing is poor, but I just know that these tips are so helpful. Again, thank you to everyone who's ever posted a video on YouTube with tips and ideas. Thank you so much. May God bless you. And thank you for watching.